All right, it's seven o'clock. Let's let's bring ourselves to order. Now, actually, people can hear me. All right, we had a couple of uh, signings required on the Lincolnshire that we had in here last time, so we've taken care of that, and we've done with that. We've all had a communication from the village that one of the things that's on the agenda is not coming before us tonight. So the only thing that's on our is 23 Clover Drive on Mr. Brandon Whalen is seeking to widen the driveway of 23 Clover. Now before we get to that, I'd like to see if anybody has any comments, questions, had the ability to read the meeting minutes from August 2nd. All right. We have a motion then to approve them as written or make any changes to them. I make a motion to approve as written. Second. All right. We've got a motion on the table to approve them as written. We've got a motion to second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. Very good. We've got the meeting minutes on for the last time. I've signed off on the variances tonight. We have a, an administrative matter. We, we took care of that. The scheduled matter is 23 Clover Drive. The owner is Brendan Whalen. The applicant sh application to widen the driveway at 23 Clover. The applicant seeks relief from the current zoning regarding the width of driveways pursuant to the village code and the parking requirements and driveways at 173, 175-3. Um, do we have that gentleman here? Why don't you tell us what it is you'd like to do and why we need some relief from the uh, from the code as it is? Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for at least listening to this for now. But um, my name is Brian Amelia, and I'm looking to widen my driveway just due to. The fact of having a truck SUV, having a trailer, I'd like to park them on driveway instead of 
on the driveway, on the side of my house, behind my house, or to, to basically just clean up that area. We clip the corner trying to pull out. It's muddy. It's a washout. It doesn't look appealing to me. I try to fix it, reseed it, add more dirt. It just keeps getting clipped, getting clipped. So it just makes sense. I'm getting a new driveway. There's three other people on my street getting a driveway as well. We're all using the same person and we're all getting a deal doing that. Um, I'd like to get that driveway done with them to get that and just make it two lane driveway, make it clean, make it clean and precise. That's all. It's pretty simple. Okay. Questions from anybody here on the board? Yes, I have some questions. Sure. Okay. So, uh, I'm guessing, but the original house had a single car garage attached to the house? Uh, I bought the house going on seven years ago. Okay. Um, so, All right, so you won't know historically. So from what I do understand is um, where the driveway is now, where the garage is now, that was an addition that was added on. I don't believe the, the house had a garage when it was first built. Um, then that addition was on, and then that I don't know why that driveway was designed that way, but the previous owners wanted it that way. So well, just, just knowing a little bit about architecture and the old village, sure. it would appear to me that the original house had a one-car garage, which is now your breezeway. And the garage was added to the left of what is now the breezeway. Could have they been. didn't shift the driveway. They left the driveway off the street, which hit the original garage, and they just half the length of the driveway, they shifted it over, and they, you got the little loop yep. into the driveway. And you want to fix that half of the driveway and make it basically a double wide driveway for a single car garage. Correct. I got it right? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't I, I don't know if that was a garage there, but I do know that it's a breezeway living room now. And I understand what, what he is saying. My my observation of it was that there was no garage or breezeway. And I don't know. I, that, that's, I don't. My, that's an observation. Yeah. But that the garage was put on, I don't know, 12, 15 feet from the house and turned that into a breezeway. Um, it being as old as I am, I've seen that done in, in the town where I grew up. Sure. Uh, but in straightening the driveway, you really don't want to straighten it, as I understand it. You would like to expand that driveway some 10 or 12 feet farther to so east. To east. the east? All right, then that's the same way as Buffalo's done. So ultimately what I want, uh, I don't want to go past my, my garage. I want to stay in line with what's there and have that asphalt run straight to the street. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go, I don't want a third lane. I want it from where it is now on the right hand side, if you're looking at my house, I want it on the right hand side to stay the same whatever, and just have it go straight to the street from where it is connected to my garage. Going straight to the street, that's all I want. That's all I'm looking for. I'm not looking for extra feet. So right now, the way Aaron told me was that I can have a second lane or a second driveway 12 foot wide by 36 foot off the house. That is how the law is written. And right now it's 22 feet, 23 feet by 12. And that second going into the driveway or going into the garage. If I were to just do add the 36, add it 12 foot to that driveway, I wouldn't need a variance. Add that 12 feet to get to 36 foot that I need, but I want that. I want to go further. So ultimately, I'm not asking for 12 by 28. I'm asking. Clicking. Try clicking off a couple mic. Okay. I'm just asking for the 12 by 20 that I'm. 
technically have to get extra. So someone told you that you could expand your driveway to a single car garage and it would go farther towards Syracuse or more towards Buffalo? Syracuse. I guess towards, yeah, towards Dunning. Towards Dunning, so that would be towards Syracuse. Yes. All right. Towards Dunning would be towards Buffalo. Either, I don't know. Towards Dunning is the, yes, away from 250. And someone, someone told you that. Someone told me that I could, I could add a second lane, which I already have. I could, I could make it deeper. Twelve by thirty-six is how the law is written. I have a twelve by twenty-two extra lane from the house. I'm looking to just make that into two lanes. That's all I'm looking to do. I'm not okay. looking to make it a third lane or go past my house. I just, that's all. I'm my understanding was that your driveway couldn't expand from where the garage was. Yeah, I'm not. And that you can go out to the side with an application and a variance. Correct. And if you go towards the breezeway in the middle, then you're no longer in front of a drive, in front of a garage. Correct. So you can't do that. I don't know how the driveway got the way it was. All I'm looking to do is straighten. Exactly what it is up by the house, I want it down to the street. That's all I'm looking to do. And I can draw you a picture if you need it. So, so let me understand this. You, it wouldn't suffice to have an adjustment. The guy, key contractor, came in to build this and put that line at the edge of the of the garage. It went. You, you wouldn't accept the fact that you would move that. The bottom that you move over to the left or over to the east or whatever you call that, you wouldn't get rid of the stuff that you have. You keep that. Whatever, I, whatever two lane is, that's all I'm looking for. It's a two lane driveway so that I can park my trailers and my cars on the yeah, no, that's all. Exactly. Yeah. So you wouldn't, you would use the right side would be the same. How, however, what, what's two, 24 feet wide? Mm -hmm. yeah, and that's all I'm looking 12 foot by 12 foot, and then from the garage yeah. to the breezeway down the street. Mm -hmm. No, I get it. So, is the idea then to straighten out the driveway coming right straight out from the garage? Out to the road. Exactly. Yes. So widen where it is on the street, widen that to two lanes. All right. Double wide at the curb. Correct. Would you Double take away the, the house? The park that I if if as long as it's twenty four feet, I'll take that away. I have no problem with doing that. As long as it's two lanes, right? One lane is twelve foot by however long, and then the other lane would be another twelve foot by however long. That's all. 24 foot wide is what I understand to be two lane driveway. So you said you plan to store your trailers on the driveway as well? I have a 12, I have a six and a half by 12 open trailer, yes. And I'd like to keep it on the driveway. Well, I'm just, I think there might be, if we had our staff here, I think that you have to maintain that behind the garage line. I'm not. Oh, sure. right. well, that's what I was driving at with the right. Like y your intention is to try to put your trailer on the driveway, but I think you got to make sure that the trailer the driveway doesn't go over in front of the breezeway. Well, no, that the trailer can't be in front of your garage at all times unless you're using it. Well, I I, I use it almost every day. And in the winter time, I don't mind storing it behind or wherever I need to store it. So, Michael, then the idea is expand the driveway from its existing Right now, it comes up out of the garage, bends, right. and then he just wants to straighten it out to have a lane driveway. 
So he's not uh, wide making wide it wide any wider wide. than it already is. Where it's do you a, get the do double, a, and forgive me here, but where do you get the double car garage that warrants the two car to the two lane driveway? Oh, because it's technically one lane for each garage bay. There's only one, one garage. Oh, well, I get that. That's why he's basically here for the variance because he needs to have one lane at the road where the where the driveway meets the gutter. He should just basically go right into the garage. Okay. And we've allowed in the past where we've allowed I have a you know turnaround. So if I had a one car garage, I might have a turnaround that I can back the car out of the garage into the turnaround and then pull out of the driveway. But it's just the fact of he's, he's requesting this variance to extend the, what he's got now to make it a two-lane driveway. The width of two lanes. Right, but only he only has one car garage. But to get two widths, you need uh, two car garage. Well, you need a two-car garage. Or you need a variance from this group that allows you to park. And quite frankly, we've had folks with two-car garages come up to us to put in a third way. Well, right. So again, the village was built back when it was a probably a one-car family. And now we have multiple cars. and. Stuff like that. Right, we should be addressing how it is now. Right. right now, what it was before. You and I have 14, 2014. This is 2020. Oh, God bless them. Look at that. <laughs> so there's your driveway. Okay, driveway. Uh, on residential properties, a gravel or paved area from the street to the garage or to an area on which a conforming garage could be built no more than 12 feet wide on properties where there is no garage or 12 feet wide for each garage stall up to a total of 36 feet that's three close but a residence a single stall garage may have an additional apron of 12 feet by 36 feet to facilitate two-car parking Well, that's, I, don't, I don't have 36, no, that's, I have that's, 22, I think it is, so, 24. So, so someone told you that you could have that, because that's what it says. Right. right. And I was, I was looking to just extend it all the way out. The area conforming garage could be built of no more than 12 feet wide on properties where there is no garage or 12 feet wide for each garage stall up to a total of 36 feet. So that would be a three-car garage in my mind. A residence with a single stall garage may have an additional apron of 12 feet by 36 feet, I think that means length, mm -hmm. yes. to facilitate two-car parking. Exactly. There we go. So in essence, that's what he has in the breezeway, up by the breezeway in the garage. But he doesn't have it down by the apron because he's got a, a strangely shaped driveway. Again, again, it says a graveled or paved area from the street to the garage or an area on which the conforming garage could be built. No more than 12 feet wide on properties. The, the, the only area where additional things could be built would be on the that side. Yeah, and then you get in the property line. And then you've got a cube. Yeah. Right. There, there's a lot, of, uh, if you go on that street, there's a, a, a lot of things, additional things that have been graveled in. You know, yeah. do it and ask forgiveness after, I think. Um, but, but, but it's to, they're really doing it to facilitate not having a mud hole in the park. Mm -hmm. what, what, I, what I'm saying with the situation is, can you go off that line, get your footage in, 
and then anything that you already have now on the west side, you grass over. That would uh, still facilitate what you want to do. Yeah, as long as, long as I get the 24 by two lanes, I don't care if it comes, if that's, because I know what you're talking about, there's a little swale that comes off where the walkway, the breezeway is, and it swells out. Yeah, and your, part, and your, your concrete sidewalk stops there. Yep. I'm fine with it going straight with the concrete drive or a concrete walk and then my driveway going off. I'm fine with that as long as it's the 24 foot, however it is to be. It's as long as it's a 20 foot driveway. That's all okay, I'm but in general, what, what, I'm, what the point I'm trying to make here is you don't build driveways in front of a breezeway. A breezeway is in a living area. You don't build a driveway in front of that. Yeah, and that's the problem with that because you don't want people making driveways in front of their house. Mm -hmm. Right. Hey, hey, I mean, or driveway going right up to my front steps. Yes, but yes. a drive, a garage bay that's converted into a breezeway that already has a driveway up to what was a garage is still there. It's no longer a garage. Correct, yeah. Yeah. but the asphalt is still there because mm -hmm. the garage used to be there. Yeah, is it grandfathered in? Yeah. Saying. So, I mean, in, in this circumstance, you couldn't, you, <coughs> not you, someone, when they built the garage, should have put, made the driveway straight through from the street to the garage, shifted it over the way it is, and the asphalt in front of the breezeway should I think the reason removed. they didn't is the tree. Yeah, there, there, is tree. Tree. there isn't. A, there's a large tree out by the road. Yeah. The locust tree. Yeah. 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 I don't know. And you're not going to bring into that. I'm sure. not going to touch that. Yeah. It's, oh, it's the village's tree. I can't touch it. It's too close to the street from what I was told. Oh, maybe. maybe. Hmm. So I won't, I won't touch the tree. Right. Yeah. And you should keep your house clean, too. I'm sorry? Keep your house clean. Right. <laughs> okay. So what are we trying to do here, Lady and Ben? Put me, put me at your house, not in front of the drive of the breezeway, because I don't think that's I, I don't think that's garage right now. But if you put me in front of your garage, tell me what it is we're trying to do, and recognizing that we've got a driveway that goes over in front of the breezeway right now. Any way you want. We're, we're pretty easy here. <laughs> Ultimately, that's. I want to keep the driveway that's there and just add that 12 by 30 section that is currently grass that would not make it a P shaped driveway, it would make it a rectangle shaped driveway. This is ultimately what I want to say. Or a nine, it looks like a nine. It's two lane and then it swells up to the one, whatever mm -hmm. digit you want to talk about or what it looks like. But I want it to be a rectangle. So what I currently have to add that long grass patch close to the tree. See, what we've done with some folks who've come here, and most times it's somebody with a two car garage who's looking to add a third lane usually to park a, a trailer or something or a boat for the winter or whatever. A couple of times they've requested us to take it all the way out to the road and we've said no. What we've said is if we'll come within 12 feet of the road then it will take a, an angle into the regular driveway that'll give you those three. Yes, take that back. That's what we've done a couple of times. Um, Mike, it sounds like you wanted to say something. No, no, no I'm, I think I got what he's wanting. So. Okay. You, want a two, two, two. you want a double wide driveway from right. the street to the, to the house. Absolutely. Period. End of story. That's the request. So the final product's going to be 30 feet long, 12 feet wide, measuring the 12 feet from the edge of the garage westward to the, to the west. I believe the total length of the driveway that's there now is 64 feet. Um, I'm looking for the add-on 
pavement part of the driveway is, I believe, 12 by 30. Right now it's 12 by 30, that is the grass area. Okay. So ultimately you're looking for a 24 by 64 foot driveway. driveway. Yep. Does that mean that you will address the existing portion that comes over in front of the house? I don't know. I mean, if I were, if, if you're asking me to move it to have a lane just at the garage and then a second lane outside of that, I believe I would be in my neighbor's property. I think I'm eight foot from my neighbor's property, so I can't do that. Okay. So I'd like to keep it where it is currently. So what does this do to this committee if this comes in? Because this will come in again. This will come in again. What are we going to do with expanding the edge of the driveway to in front of the house? And the fact that it's already there, uh, that I don't have to deal with. It's, it's widening it. Right. Widening it, widening it, widening it at the... Uh, sidewalk gutter, call it whatever you will, concrete piece, the street, the street. That's the place where it shouldn't be expanded. Well, maybe we need to take a look at the code because we have multiple cars nowadays rather than one car. I mean, like I said, back in the 50s, people only had one car. So it was easy to live by a one-lane driveway and one-car garage. Now we're into 2023 20, almost, and people have two cars, even three two, cars. Four, five, five, six. So to me, this is probably something we need to look at because, again, maybe we need to bring it into the modern times. I mean, I don't know. I'm just putting my two cents out there. I appreciate it. Thank you. So we are looking at a non-conforming situation with that breezeway. So he's just trying to accommodate what he's got. Right. It's not like he can add another right. garage because then he's got to get a, a zero setback for the second bag. So, we, are we trying to come over in front of the breezeway? I'm not doing any, I'm leaving the, the driveway is. as it is now. Okay. I'm not going any further in towards the house. Okay. okay. It's a way to walk into the breezeway. You know what I mean? I don't think we can make them pull the asphalt out and say, hey, you got to put brick well, papers but it in. Does, but it the, doesn't go all the way up to the house. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, no it, it, it does not currently, no. See, I, yeah, it comes in and it goes like that. It, from the one, from the from the garage, it swales over to the walkway, and then once it hits the walkway, then it swells out again. Ah. Uh -huh. So that's his
if I, I, I believe that is so where are your houses? Where are your houses? <laughs> I mean, I saw your house. I walked by it, but I can't figure it out from a bird's eye view. Sorry. Okay. And I, I believe there is that. I believe there is should have been another because I gave them the business. I gave it to, I thought it was. Your own drawing? No, it was the, um, it was the site survey for when I purchased the home. So it had the driveway, you know, how I, I handed out my highlight that I, I don't know where, where it went on into the, the woman at the, at the office. I don't know where that went to. That, I try to present that as well. Right. You look like you had something to say. First, first of all, I'd like clarification because sitting back here, I only have a diagram that I'm looking at. So basically, what you want to do is this. just this. I do not want to do anything with that. Okay. So, just so I understand what everybody else understands, we're talking, here's the breeze, current breezeway, basically what yes. I want to do is just that. Yes. Exactly. Not that. Not that. Just this. Right. Oh, and this is correct? Oh. And he's going to leave that. Just do that, that was the part ah, that I said that comes around like I, that. I assume it went all the way to the plane. Up to the not going to work by the sidewalk. Yeah. And so that addition of the road, I'm that not. addition of the road come through the existing tree? It will not. No. No, no kidding. No, I believe you. I will take your word for it. One other thing I'd like so to mention. That's the there. Yeah. And that is the Some of the houses were built with a breezeway with the anticipation of yes, grass. Right. 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 It's, it's, there's a little grass right. path. So they put a concrete path. Yeah. 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 And you're yeah. going to leave that just where it is, what it is. For the future garage? No, they just put a driveway in where up to wherever it might be. It's almost blowing on a 60 year old memory. I'm just sitting there trying to replant grass no, in the corner of the driveway. I just did did that, that make it sense to you? What, yeah, where? I mean, yeah. And for the it's record, you have my name and address. It is. Yeah. And what, what my concern about is if everyone else in the village comes to us and says, do that, what we've got in front of us seems reasonable. Right. Help me, help me get a straight driveway coming out of my garage, going out to the road, not having to take down that tree, <clears throat> and not tearing up the existing driveway that's there. And oh, by the way, that doesn't go up to the breezeway, that stops short of the breezeway, just with the, with the sidewalk and the other stuff that's there. Right. Is that a fair statement? Yes. Could I add? Go ahead. So, more, I'll make sure I'm on camera. Uh, and while he's coming over there, just the last question I've got that out of the road, is that taking it to the edge of the house or the garage that's existing there? It will not go past my garage. It'll stay with that's, garage. that's the only thing you needed to say. Yep. Uh, my personal opinion is where the driveway meets the road now should be removed and added to a straight driveway coming out for the garage. A parking pad big enough for a trailer may be available next to the garage between there and the uh, neighbor's lot line. You said you got at least eight feet. I only have eight feet, yeah. A parking pad for a trailer could be next to, this has been done up in another spot that I know of and allowed by a much, much, much older, long since gone building inspector. 
not the last one, but the one before that, allowed this up on Champion Avenue, a parking pad next to the garage to park the trailer unless you lose vehicle. And with a sliver 45 out to main driveway and still leaving this main driveway coming up. Question. Where's the trailer going to be or the boat or whatever you've got that you're going to park in the new section? About where? I would I could park it either on either side. I don't I haven't talked to my wife on what way what side she would want if we were to go to the but just to park it on on the driveway and then one in the wintertime I have a place I can go and store that. So I store it and it's not on grass, it's not on my yard. It's, it's somewhere else, but I use it during the spring, winter, or spring, summer, and fall. Other thoughts or questions from people on the board? Thank you, by the way. Sure. Thank you. So, the idea that you're thinking of is to expand the road portion by 12 feet, so it comes over to the outside wall of the garage, the outside wall towards Syracuse or uh, whatever we want to call that. And that'd be about 12, but that's about 12 feet? Okay, so we're not talking about 36 feet, we're not talking about putting on 24, we're not talking about doing anything. We, we are talking about a driveway at the end of it that's going to be bigger than a garage but it doesn't exist, doesn't, doesn't do anything with what's there now. Okay. okay. And ultimately is 24 by 64 rectangle of a driveway. Oh. Yes. And that's with a funky side. Funky side. That's what it's going to end up being. Where the, where, where the yeah. sidewalk is. Yep. Right. Okay. Um, Thank you very much. So we'll close this to any public comments, any comments, questions by members of the board, no. or thoughts? No, I'm content the way you phrased it. Okay. <laughs> this time. This time, yes. It took me a while to get there. All right. Then what we're looking for then, um, first of all, is this a seeker? Type 2. Type two. Is it a type 2? Yes. All right. So we have a seeker type 2. You're making a motion for that? I make a motion for type two action on the seeker with no environmental impact. Okay. I'll second. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. Just for your information, that says what kind of an investigation. That some of the larger ones we have to do more investigations. Uh, or there's investigations of the property. It's not, not required in this case. <laughs> All right, so we've taken care of that. Now, the second thing on is we've got to address the five steps. Okay, agreed. Okay, so the five steps that come out here is access to be considered are whether the undesirable change would be produced in character of neighborhood or detriment to nearby property. That's a, yeah, there's other drivers that are having right. 24 foot yes. wide driveways. At the end of the day, no one is going to notice this. <laughs> okay, so is that where we all are? Is no, no one's going to, re no one? okay. Would the benefits sought by the applicant, well, whether the uh, benefits sought by the applicant can be achieved by a feasible alternative to the variance. Yeah. No. I don't know how it's going to happen, so that's a no. Number three, whether the requested variance is substantial. I would say no. It's basically less than half of a driveway, you know, with the or length of the driveway. You don't think he's already got three quarters of it, for saying another quarter. So I'd say no. The 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 addition itself is right. not substantial. Agreed. Okay. It's 
literally less than 25% of the existing. Agreed. Would the variance have an adverse impact on the physical or environmental conditions of the neighborhood? No. No. Now, I agree with that. And whether the alleged difficulty was self-created. I think that all existed when you got there. Was that correct? No. He bought the problem. So that would be no. All right. So we have, we have no's on all of those. Do we have any special conditions that exist for this? Adverse to be minimized? Anything we want to consider here? I don't think it is. Okay. So now what we're looking for is a Motion to approve or deny. Hold on a second. We've got one question. Yes, Can sir. I, a couple of questions. How close is this going to be to the tree? Would be any damage to the village tree by disturbing roots? And have the neighbors on. signed off on this? Yeah. All my neighbors have been notified of this. Okay. Uh, it didn't come out. That's why. I, uh, yeah. Sorry. No. They. I sent it to everybody. Okay. Is there any damage to the tree? I will be three foot away from the base of the tree, I believe. And yes, there will be roots that, were, that are taken out, but I don't think the tree will be damaged. But I'm not, I, uh, I'm being dry as for everything I've done before, but from what, from what the, the company that is coming in to pay would say, yes, we can go to that tree. If anything, the roots of the tree could eventually come up. But he's like, if you want, you're not going to kill the tree. So that's what I was saying. And at that point, then your position would be you would come to the village, have a discussion with the village about whether or not to keep that tree in that location or not. If that needs to be discussed, we can discuss that too. Okay. Has any of your neighbors had any problems with your proposal? I have not, I've spoken personally to almost every single one of them. I, I have not heard anything to them. No, that's... And like I said, three other neighbors are getting their driveways done with the same guy, so... Oh, so we're going for the package deal, huh? Trying to. <laughs> Trying to, yeah. All right. So then we're... Other questions? No, thank All you. Right. Thank you. All right, any other thoughts or... or Questions, then, let's, then what we need is either a motion to deny or a motion to approve it um, as a 12 foot or, or as something that, and I don't know, think about how you want to say it, but you don't want it to go any farther, what is that, east? East, yes. Any farther east than the the, the external edge of the garage. I mean, that, that's my point here. Yes. I will make a motion okay. for a uh, acceptance or what, what, what's the word? You just said the right word. Approval. Approval. <laughs> I make a motion for approval of a asphalt driveway addition to be an additional 12 feet wide at the curb line and running perpen running mm -hmm. parallel to the edge of the existing garage bay, which is basically the end of your structure. Correct. Okay, so we have a motion on the table to approve 12 feet coming out to the road, not going any farther east than the edge, than, than the property edge of the of the garage itself. Yes. Second. We have a second on the table. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. We have a motion passed, and we have the uh, the seeker done for that. We should be all set. Good luck. Thank you for for putting <laughs> us through this. <laughs> Thanks for hearing. I appreciate it. All right, you guys have a great one. Thank you. Good luck, Brendan. Yes. Any relation to Pete Wellahan? Yep, he's my uncle. He's your uncle. Yep. Okay.
Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> good thing I know he, he, he worked for my company and he just retired and now he's back. <laughs> oh, so, okay, yeah. He's yeah. doing some part time stuff without that. Yeah. For sure. Alright. Very good. Thanks. Take care. <laughs> okay, the motion to adjourn? Well, hold on. Before we do that, education. Oh, I did mine already. September 26th or 8th? 28th. Is this free by any chance? No. no. Alright. So if you'd like to register, let me know. Um, the village will cover the payment. It's a one day commitment at less than a full day. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a fair portion. I mean, it's going to be four or five hours of the eight that you got to get. Yeah. Plus, you got to get the ten and eight. Five, nine. Good morning. I think I only need four hours. Eight thirty if you want breakfast. Yeah. Does this cover? Yeah. That we covers. only need four hours for a year? Four? Yeah. Yep. For oh, a year. Oh, man. Okay, um, so we've got that on the door. If you have any questions or comments on that, see Joe. Um, question. Is this down with your heart? No. 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 Yeah. no. Okay, the thing that I had on my agenda here was there's enough question in this particular code. Should we seclude 10 or 15 minutes at our next meeting to send something to the board and say you should think about this because you are all set up to get more than one of these coming your way. Yes. Yes. All right. So we're going to put 15 minutes on the next one to discuss um, Just trying to think how we want to put it. The, discuss the, the applications to widen driveways and how they exist. Nice. I like that a lot. That's going to be 15 minutes. That doesn't give us a special meeting. It's worth doing. All right. Anyone got anything else? Do we have anything on our agenda for September? Not that I've heard yet. Nothing on our agenda for, our, for September? Sure. Question. Um, yes. All right. So then let's just, uh, at that point, we can we can have an adjournment. Okay. Um, should we also dedicate a few minutes to thinking about maximizing or changing the garage size? and or lot coverage limit absolutely sure. put that just put that in the meeting minutes and maybe it's 20 minutes now but yes yeah. fair enough and we need the same type of discussion for the, the sheds and what we went through last meeting well i think that's what i meant yeah that's why i'm not sheds oh, okay so that we're not at 132 or one percent or we're going to 196. i hate setting a president 192. Maximum 192, or a lot of these problems go away if we change the 1% to 1.5%. <laughs> Based on the average, of, well, it really depends on the lot size, but okay. uh, on average, I mean, 1.5% solves almost every problem. 2% certainly solves the problem. So, or we should just say 2%, or 192 square feet or less of a height. I believe the village board already has that code on the radar. The ones that Don sent? But I don't for the shed size and lot coverage. I want to say I think they're considering the setback, possibly changing the setback. You mean the setback as being not five feet or not, not ten, ten feet? Not but ten feet, possibly five. But I'm not sure that they're addressing any change in size. So, well, I can go check that. Okay. Way. And if you change the setbacks, oh, then you definitely want to think about changing the size of this. Because if you push that, if you push your 
structure deeper into the corner, you get a bigger, bigger building. But then things can get out of hand. All right. Motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn at 750. We have a motion on the table. Second. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. Nothing on our table for September either. So, yeah.